Hello everybody and welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and it is shit game time once again and this time we are going to do Afterburner. This is actually Afterburner 2, let's face it, that's why there's a bloody great Roman numeral 2 there flashing around. This is the Commodore 64 version, U... it's not UK, Europe isn't it, it's all of Europe version. And this has been requested by YouTuber Northlander72 who wishes me to literally bung this crap down the poop tube and flush it into the vault shit this river, which is exactly what's going to happen. And before I get on with the, with the review is, um, this brings me, brings my memory back to the shit game time I did of the Amiga version, which basically covers the ST version as well, pretty much with port. And um, it made an edition of Retro Gamer, uh, the, the I think it was either the publisher, the main guy overseeing the projects of the home conversions, stated that he found a review of Afterburner on the Amiga, the UK version, entitled Shit Game Time, and he does not disagree. <laughs> so I was quite chuffed with that. Um, I think I put that in a post a little while back on my channel. Yeah, it was Retro Gamer. Uh, I think it was not this current edition, it was probably the last edition, but it was there. Um, yep. Yeah. So I got a bit of a... didn't say my name on it, but I knew damn well that was my video. So, cool. <laughs> anyway, this game. Ah, oh, yes. Um, did this come with the... a bit like Outrun, where the game came with the soundtrack on a tape? You know what I mean? It's just, oh, let's bung the soundtrack. I don't get the punters buying it. They all want the soundtrack, don't they, on the tape. Especially Outrun. What a fucking con that was. So let's have a look. Who was uh, in charge of this gype shite? Um, Right, well, it was published by Activision, yeah, Stroke Sagan. Music by Adam Gilmore. And programmer by Andy Nucho, is that right? Graphics Focus, let's see if I can get any other names on this. Uh, uh, music by Alward Gilmore, Gizmo. Uh, that, that's about all I can find. The Daily Software, I don't know, I'm just looking at this stuff. And uh, producer. Poo juiced, I should say. Poo juiced, yes, poo juiced. Software Studios, Jonathan Dean, whatever. Um, it's just garbage. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at the price tag. £9.99 for the cassette. In 1988. £14.99 for the disc. How much is that in today's money? It's a lot. And it's crap. Let's get on with it. Um, five to start. Here we go. Yuck. Immediately. Uh, it's responsive. I'll give it that. I don't know if you can do the roll. I'm trying to. Very blocky missiles when they come at you. Surrounded by blue background around the missiles. It just looks awful. Oh, chop, 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 chop. Here we go again. The sky is completely bland. So all you can do really is go left and right. Um, I don't know if you can adjust your speed. I'm at top speed now. You're constantly oh got hammered there. Constantly getting uh, you've got auto auto fire pretty much. It's, it's that's the fire. It's always auto, but to send a missile you have to press fire like that. But I don't know if you can. Yes, you can. Okay, you can do the you can do the turn. Okay, so it's a quick wiggle of the um, joystick. Well, it was. Oh, well, I did it once, but I don't want to do it too much. You can probably tell I'm using a micro switch joystick, quick shot two turbo, and I do not want my springs to bust, especially on a pile of crap like this. It's, a t it's annoying to have it bust. Oh, we got a bit of a level loading here. It has to be a multi-load game, doesn't it? Not much, but it probably a lot longer on the tape. Yes, I don't mind busting the odd spring if um, on your press fire as well. On a good game. I mean, that's bad enough to do on a good game, but um, there we go again. But on a shit game, infuriating. It's just bland. It's oh, here we go. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'd rather you kill me, mate, because I do not want to bust my springs. 
Oh, we're out running. So you're constantly on fast speed as well. It's just so plain. Do you get it? Plain? Never mind. Um, it's dull. Isn't it? It's dull. It's as dull as, I don't know, fish paste on a piece of bland bread. I don't know even if the missile catches up with you. I might be doing anything. I wonder if you get to, if it's included the uh, stock up ship on level 2. There we go. So I'm just going to go left and right like that and I'm just not going to, I am not going to risk myself blowing, uh, breaking my springs. Well, I mean, the American version isn't exactly uh, the best either, but it's certainly bloody better than this, I can tell. And the screen, the size of the screen, it reminds me of Amstrad um, game screens. They're so small, letterbox, huge borders. Give the impression it will, you know, it moves faster. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got the old um, top up. Rewind tape, push play. Well, I'm playing it with an SD device, so I don't need to do that. Right, oh, it got me there. Look at that horrible blue borders around. And you can play, complain about Spectrum games having a fucking colour clash. I mean, that is dreadful. That is cheap and nasty. There's a blue out background around the bloody bullets and some of the fires as well. That's awful. Shoot. Just guesswork. Oh, I mean it's responsive enough. Left, right, it immediately does it. But the screen is so small; it's like you can't move much. There's no pla look at the horrible blue borders around the aircraft as well when it goes over that grey. That is awful. Oh fucking hell! That does make me laugh. And all the bloody take piss taken out of color clash on the spectrum. And when you've got a game like this, which is really done on the cheap, as far as getting around certain problems. There should be no colour clash there. And there is. It's awful. Well, it's not colour clash, but it's deliberately designed. There's a blue border. So it won't clash into the into the backgrounds below. Oh, I've made that stage as well. Again. And I know there's some good shooters. There's definitely a lot of good shooters on out on the Commodore 64. And I should know. I've played a fucking lot of them and I've recorded a lot of them on long plays on my channel but fuck me there's so many games on the Commodore 64 so many shit fests that have been justified just because it's got a good bit of music tacked to it and I'm sorry the core of a game I've said it before I say it always say it again I keep saying it. the core of a game is playability you build round playability you dress around it but when there's no playability at the core of the game, then uh, you're on to a loser, I'm afraid. God, the play area, though, is so tiny. There's no reason for it. Oh, we've got this... Uh, that is seriously blocky. That plane coming after me. I want to do a roll, but I just don't want to bust my springs. Don't want to do it. I'm tempted just to stay there, see if he gets me. Oh, missile got me anyway. I've got infinite lives on, haven't I? I didn't even say, this is a crack copy. This must be a version where I've naturally got infinite lives. Because I'm not losing lives and I didn't select to cheat. But I'm not reloading this, we're getting some idea. At least we've seen some of the later levels. Oh, we got the old, um, bleh. that does look awful. Um, yeah, we've got the old um, refill again. I think you have to fly through this um, terrain, don't you? Without getting hit. I mean, these great big, uh, like a canyon. You were serious. A little bit of loading for that. Come on. No, it's left it out. There's normally a, can There's a canyon level there. Look at these missiles, though. Look at the blue outlines on them. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Fuck me, boys, that's terrible. How can you charge £10 for this and 15 I'll tell you why, because it's coming off of a fucking Sega name, like arcade game by Sega, big name, company, and rather, not a massive game, I mean, it's got a thumping soundtrack, you can't deny that. And that's why, isn't it? I expected this shite. 
the result of this to be from US gold. This is US gold um, material. This is uh, uh, the late 80s, <laughs> mid to late 80s. Yeah, this is US gold standards. And how those fuckers got um, a golden joystick award of the year, something I have no I fucking dear. That's when I realised you can't take it seriously. How can those fuckers end up with a good award for the year? The shit they published. Especially mostly Capcom versions. So, yeah, it's just... Outrun the enemy. Plain, boring backgrounds. It's the same as the last level, pretty much. Look at the bullets, they're all blue. It's horrible. <laughs> but it's a good tune. It's a good rendition. I'll give it that. So yeah, it's just a case of avoiding, avoiding in a letterbox mode. Can't really do much. Just got to, I'm just going to stand... Will this thing hit me? Oh, it's catching up with me. It's just a mess, isn't it? It really is just a mess. I can't do it now. I'm too afraid to do it. I don't want to break my springs. I'm not going to. Go on, they are. It's going to let them kill me. Another one. I used to hate it in the arcade for that simple reason that every second it was... Fire, 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 fire. It's a normal, annoying voice. Fire, 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 fire. In the end, it was like, I'll fire when I fuck I want to. Thank you. Uh, oh, well, look at this pooey level. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Bloody hell. What? <laughs> Looks like you're trying to avoid McDonald's straws. <laughs> Jesus wept. It's like they've used the same pillars in, in um, Power Drift conversion. I did an Amiga review of that. I don't know if I've done a Commodore 64 I can't remember, but Power Drift on the Amiga had this choppy, these bars where it looked absolutely wank. <laughs> it was just a mess. That's what this reminds me of. And wasn't that published by the same poop, uh, firm? I can't remember. Ugh. Ugh. Awful. <laughs> if you're going to play Afterburn on the Commodore 64 and you had to make a choice, because neither of them are brilliant, then yeah, you got to you got to play the Yankee version, I'm afraid. Play the American version. Um, it's, it's just the play area is pathetically small. It literally looks like you're looking for a letterbox and your joystick. You're in your joysticks on the other side of the door. Awful. Is that it? No. We've got some more McDonald's straws to get by. Is that it? No, another one. Oh, here we go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> God, blimey. Well, I can't remember if I long played this on my channel. Was I that sad or, or, or that much to do on that day? I wonder. Was it about C64 games around this time? You know, there was a lot of two versions, wasn't there? European version and American version. Some were better in Europe, some were better in America. I know the Street Fighter 1 was better in America than the fucking tribe we got in Europe. Um, but Bionic Commando in Europe was a fucking damn sight better than the American version, so it swings around, you know? But this is definitely going to uh, go into the Yanks, this one, for the better version. Oh, Jesus. How long is this stage? Is that it now? Is that it? That's got to be it. Yeah, finally. Let's play this last last stage and call it a day, because this is fucking dreadful. Oh, refuel. I can do with that. Got the missiles left, have I? Definitely got um, infinite lives. I didn't mean to select that. It makes no difference to this review, though. 
Look at the outline to the missiles. It's like a huge block. Look at it. That's just, that's just unforgivable. Absolutely cheap and unforgivable. Oh, I'm not conscious of it. Yeah, you can see your bullets are automatically fired. Oh, it nailed me. Bloody hell. Ugh, dreadful, dreadful graphics. Gotcha. And another one. Give you. Lovely. And another one. And another one. That's it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, just got past that. Barrage of missiles. It responds, the controls respond, I'll give it that, but it doesn't mean it's a fun game to play, because it fucking isn't. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. You, you've got a perfect idea of what's going to go on here. It's the same shit yeah, for about 23 levels or something. That will do. That is absolutely dreadful, and I cannot believe you guys asked for a £9.99 stroke £14.99 selling price to expect kids to cough up and play. I mean, that's a lot of money back then, and you expect a lot better than this. This is absolutely crap, and I've seen no favorite um, favoritism towards it. I've seen no pluses towards it. I've read the forums. No one says anything good about it, again, apart from, yet again, a nice tune stitched to a shitty Commodore 64 game. Doesn't mean it's any good, because it fucking isn't. Everything's missing. The playability, the fun. It's gone. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's just... It looks like Afterburner, doesn't really play like it, plays shit, it's terrible, it's blocky as fuck, um, the graphics are terrible, plain as well, very boring, dull backgrounds, the missiles and everything around it have got these great big borders, they're bloody awful, apart from that ship, my ship and the guy that's behind me, but these things, missiles, they're just cheap, horrible, so, yeah, I'm going to give that a... Shit game time rating of... Um, I'm going to give that 86 shits. Um, obviously the tune is good, but I wouldn't recommend it. Ridiculous high price to ask anyone to pay, uh, especially kids. And um, yeah, you fuckers have just... I swear you guys put a soundtrack tape with it as well. I'm damn sure you did. I could be wrong, let me know. Um, but yeah, if that's the case, that is outrun fucking US Gold outrun tactics. That is shit game. Bung in the arcade soundtrack. All the kids will want to get the soundtrack. They'll have to buy the tape. Absolute shit. Um, yeah, so stand up publishers and poo grammars. Round of applause. You've made an edition of Shit Game Time, where this pile of shit that you created has been now flushed down the poop tube into a great big vault of runs, diarrhea, and all the other disgusting things that comes out of one's bottom and it's going to remain there forever. Terrible. Terrible. Hang your heads in shame. Cash cow. That's all that was. That's all it was. Okay, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments below. I'll be very interested to see what you think about it. I'd be surprised if any of you really enjoyed it. In, in, you know, unless you had the severe beer goggles and you should have been on beer goggles when you were the age 14. But anyway, there we go. I digress. If you would like to name a game to be shamed and me to put into the vault of shitness, please do so. The video will pop up any moment in the top left. Go to that and name the game you want me to get rid of and banish and flush down the toilet. That's my job. Accompanying it with, uh, sorry, accompanying it with three other shit game time random games I've just picked that you might want to uh, check out. All right, until next time. Thanks again very much for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. Until next time. Take care of yourselves. Zeus. Out of Plopsville.